Welcome to the ocean. Let's have a cheeky look around. Wow, there's a shark aboard. Let's get out of the ocean straight away. Go. It's coming back. Hide. Okay, take a kayak. Let's go back in the ocean, but this time with a kayak. Humans have been trying to outsmart sharks in the water for a long time. There's no way a great white could capsize this bloke. Whoa, okay, yeah, nah, he's bloody capsized. Where is it? Where's the dopey-looking, terrifying predator bastard? I want to see it. I also don't want to see it. Go on, get back on your reliable vessel. Like lightning, sharks never strike the same place twice. All right, that's bullshit. They do. You know what? This is the most suspenseful part of the video right here. Get your foot on the fucking kayak. Thank you. Cages. If we enter the ocean in cages, we'll be safe. Holy shit balls, diddy fuck. I don't like it. I want to go home. I want to go home on behalf of these people. What are you doing, everyone? Pack it up. Get out of the cage. Go. Home. Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, wooden canoes can piss off. The awkward thing about a shark attack is that you can't do anything unless you're Mick Fanning and you punch it in the back. But most of us suck, so you just got to sit there and realise you shouldn't be in the water. There's a reason we don't have gills. Or how about a big boat? Sharks are no match for a big boat. Why is that one flying? Footage like this makes me think... We're only a decade or two away from the next shark evolutionary phase. Right side, right side of the screen, flying! We all saw it. Those fins are about to become wings. This shark is fair dinkum majestic, to be honest. In fact, I'm going to stick up for sharks. They are majestic. We should be friends with them. Not to the point we start dancing with them, like this mad wanker. These two remind me of Arnie and Jamie Lee Curtis in True Lies. It's a well-executed tango. The shark's like, do it do cement. Do it very slowly. Oh, this is nice. Lemon sharks seem like they're genuinely up for a friendship. They want to be mates. Although it does look like it still has teeth. I'd be careful patting it. You know what? It could be the same as giving a pleasurable scratch to a cat or a dog. Once you fucking commence doing it, they don't go away. They don't leave you alone. Yeah, it's awkward and cute when it's a dog or a cat. See, he's checking the time. He's like, how long do I have to fucking do this for? And now he's blowing big bubbles. He's panicking. Let's cut away before he's dragged to the bottom and becomes a permanent little spoon. I can't see much in this video. I don't know. There's something blocking the camera lens, blocking the view. Oh, yeah, it's Ocean Ramsey's massive balls. She's dangling them all over that shark's back. But seriously, majestic is the correct and appropriate word for sharks. What an absolute unit. It's good that she's not looking for an underwater street fight right now, because there's about 20 divers that could lose their lives. Why is there so many divers? Anyway, overall, we can't go in the water and then get cranky pants when sharks try to take a bite out of us. It's their territory. How's our lemon shark guy going? Oh yeah, he's fucked. He'll be doing this scratchy scratch forever. Oh, no, he's free. Get out of there. Go back to dry land. Dry land is not a myth. I've seen it, as Jim Carrey, quoting Waterworld, once said. Go, go. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel and go over to my merch store, aussiemanshop.com. Take a massive bite out of our product inventory by ordering something. Thanks, everyone. See ya.